What's up guys, welcome back to our channel, slash my channel, slash really our channel at this point. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing a sit down meets a vlog because we know everybody loves tuning into our vlogs every Sunday. A but slog. It's a slog. It's a slog. Welcome to our first slog. So today I wanna to talk about some of the intentions that we are setting for the new year. It's a little bit into the new year at this point because if you've been watching our vlogs, you know that we got stuck in England for a while, but we're home, spoiler alert. And if you don't know what we mean by intentions, that's just a fancy way of saying New Year's resolution. Yeah. What's your New Year's resolution? If someone said that to me, I'd know what they meant. If they can't, I said, what are your New Year's intentions, dear sir? <laughs> I'd be like, namaste. No, like, <laughs> gonna play hacky sack way more regularly, eat smoothies. Actually, that's... These are some of <laughs> the things that we're gonna do. <laughs> Not the hacky sack. No. So I wanna start off. Necessarily, although it does look quite fun. Maybe that's part of Google our family it. time. We've already started implementing some of these resolutions slash intentions into our year, and we brought you guys along for the ride. So we're gonna be cutting back and forth to some vlog stuff that are like sneaky peeks that you haven't seen yet. Okay, so the first intention that we have is to travel more. Obviously the experience that we just had <laughs> definitely made us question if this was the appropriate time to be traveling. I think for us, the biggest learning has been that you can't just look on a CDC website or the equivalent in your country. You actually need to check your airline, check the country you're in's rules, check the country you're going to's rules, and check the country that's just a random country, just, <laughs> just, make, just yeah. in case that just just in case the person field. you see at the desk likes that country better. So you basically have to know all the rules. Yes. They're everywhere. Yes. And there's a lot of them. And travel's always been a priority for us. Um, it was a huge part of our relationship before we had kids, before we ever started vlogging. We traveled all of the time and that's something that we really want to do with our kids. We want to expose them to different cultures yeah. all around the world. Yeah. Um, it's an important part of, I think, our parenting journey on a mm -hmm. go forward. And uh, I have to say, I was a little bit nervous because when you think of traveling with two kids, it's a lot. Yeah. But they, they did amazing! Absolute legends. They did so good! They were better behaved than you, weren't they? A hundred percent! They were way easier Shen to travel Hazel. with than I am. We just finally made it on the plane, and obviously it was very stressful, because <laughs> I was sweating my ass off and the entire inside of my sweater is now on my person. <laughs> I look like I'm just the hairiest person alive. I can't believe we made it, kids. Are you excited to go home? Yes. I will go on that. So good and honestly like blew me away so it gave me a lot of confidence that we're gonna be able to travel with them more and more as the borders reopen and the world opens up a little bit more a priority intention resolution this is something we're bringing into 2022 that we had in 2021 and 2020 and 2019 although 2021 you couldn't really do it very much no not the same very way. pregnant but it is working out keeping fit health is wealth yeah, I try and move my body every single day. I do a lot of jujitsu, as you may know. Maybe I'll at some point lay on the floor with you <laughs> and sweat and roll around on the floor. Maybe not. Press your bodies Maybe we up could on do top that. of each other. No, but jujitsu is great. I absolutely love it. So I do a lot of that. I do that two, three times a week. I do love working out, but I do not love working out at a gym. I love working and this out isn't at a home. Post 2020 thing. No. This is a like you this always was before. the gym. Yes. And that's actually one of the best things that came from 2020 for you is that so many more options became available <laughs> options and there's a lot of bad options but there's some really great some options really great options thank you to copilot for sponsoring this video i have been using the copilot app to work out at home since having kingsley it's been about three months of doing three workouts a week for 30 minutes every time all right i'm about to start my first copilot 
workout. This is my before situation. Obviously my postpartum pooch is still very much present. Butt's gotten a little flat because I have not been working on my squat game in months and months and months and my legs could use a little bit of toning. So that's where I'm at. I just feel sluggish. I can't engage my core at all after that C-section surgery. So I think it's gonna feel good to just fire up my muscles again. And by the time you're watching this, it'll be a few months later. So yeah, fingers crossed. As I'm sure you've already seen in my vlogs over the past few months, I get sweaty and breathless and I have just seen my body change so much. Speaking Kings of babies. Up. I'll be back. While Josh is grabbing Kingsley, I will carry on. It is an app. It comes with an app to accompany the program itself, but you are working one-on-one -on -one with a trainer who is a professional expert. My trainer, Darian, shout out Darian, is the best. I had a kickoff call with her where I explained where I was at in my postpartum journey, that I was recovering from my second C-section, so she understood where my body was at and what my needs were, and really tailored a program that allowed me to ease back into to working out. What would you say is your like long-term goal at this point? So let me show you my stomach. <laughs> Where my scar is, is down here. And like my stomach is kind of sitting like as a shelf almost on top of that. And I, it didn't happen the first time, but I think it's like scar tissue on scar tissue at this point. We'll start really gentle with, with core work because I think especially after you have a baby, it's really important oh, to yeah, you gotta, like ease into that. It's just always kind of like a mad dash of kids, my husband's schedule, my schedule. Where do I have a window? Oh, look, the baby fell asleep. Like, great, let's go, you know? Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Because you're actually working with a real person alongside the app, you can track your progress on the app, but then also tap into your trainer on a personal level to ask questions, to give them feedback on each workout. If certain exercises didn't feel great, or if you need more resistance and to push yourself harder on certain exercises, they can continue to tailor the workouts and your program to meet your needs. And the benefits of having a real life trainer working with you on this program are not just about the exercises themselves. That's great. But it's also about accountability. She's also there to be my cheerleader. I get little video notes from Darian, like randomly little 40 second videos saying like, good job this week. You pushed so hard on that one. Your form was great on this one. It's just that boost of confidence and encouragement that feels really good to have from another human person on the other end of that app. Since starting my workouts, I have lost about 20 pounds, which was not really a focus of mine, not a goal. It just kind of happened that way. My goals with my coach were really just about feeling strong, feeling my muscles engage again, particularly my ab muscles, because after a second C-section, I was a little bit concerned that I would never be able to feel myself flex my stomach again. It's really about strength and confidence for me. I feel so good in clothes again, which I was not expecting to feel this quickly postpartum, so that's been amazing. Not hurting myself when I'm running around taking care of this little chunk and his sister, because you better believe he is a big chunk and he's not light. I love the co-pilot program, so I hope you guys try it out. Click the link in my video description below for your trial. And I actually got my mom on the program. That's how much I love it, and she loves it too. Hello! I've got a no Hello, addition to the gang. Oi! Hi! For those who don't know, this is our boy Kings. Hi. Are you joining us for the rest of the video? Another intention for us in 2022 is to make sure that we are eating clean and eating healthy as often as we can. We're rushed off our feet 95% of the time, to, so to spend 45 minutes making a meal, making sure I've got all my veg and stuff in there just isn't necessarily going to happen yeah um so to make my life easier when i'm cooking i'm making sure i get in all the veg all the green all the blue all the purple all the whatever in our smoothies each day we are sharing what smoothie we have every single day with you guys um giving you the recipe because it's amazing we don't get sick of it ever um obviously if you like variety you can switch it up but it's delicious and it's packed with nutrients that are great for you hey kings is it time to make the yummiest smoothie in the whole wide world? Yeah! This is one 
that we really never get sick of in our house. You can switch it up. You can add some variety if you want, or you can not and do like we do and just eat this every day. All you need is half a banana, a good two handfuls of spinach, about a quarter cup of frozen blueberries, one date, a tablespoon of flaxseed, and cinnamon, lots of cinnamon. Whatever protein powder you want, if you want any at all. A heaping tablespoon or two of organic peanut butter. Oat milk. Yeah. Little bit of water, and we're done. Cheers. One of the intentions that I have for this year is to have confidence in work. I've been a digital content creator full time for three years now, and it's something that I haven't always had the most confidence in. <laughs> um, same thing goes for being an entrepreneur. I'm now the founder of a tech startup, which is a weird thing to say, and I couldn't own the title of entrepreneur for most of last year. Anytime it would come up, I just felt kind of sheepish about it and insecure because in my mind, it's always been like, well, I'm not successful enough yet to call myself a content creator or to call myself an entrepreneur. And at the end of last year, I finally found my stride in just being myself, being authentically myself, taking the reins of my businesses, doing things my way. And I saw the fruits of that confidence pay off. Oh, yeah, you did. So well done, that's something I really want to carry into this year and just got to be start it feeling confident. Yeah. yeah. There's only one you. Yes. So you've got to stop looking around at what everybody else is doing. But let's everybody just be who they are and accepting of who the other person is yes. and crack on. It is time to get into work mode. And I have a really important and exciting Zoom meeting um, that I'm a little bit nervous about because it just means we're kicking off the whole chapter of 2022. But I'm also just thrilled about because all of my goals this year are big ones and I feel like they're a long time coming. I've been kind of manifesting this stuff and working my ass off towards it for years now. And fingers crossed this is the year that it all starts to come together. So. Let's do it. Testing, testing. Okay. Done and done. From podcaster mode into entrepreneur mode. Okay, that call went great. Um, and full disclosure, I did a casting for a job opportunity before the holidays and the interview went good, but I felt pretty on the spot as I always do with castings, you know, and you have that one chance to just spill your guts and, and pour your heart out and hope that it works. But I always get nervous in those circumstances. So, I know that I am definitely a good candidate for this job and I'm just gonna record a little video um, to kind of share more of my story in a candid way and see if that might make an extra little impact on the casting people and producers. So, you know what, like I said, I am trying to go into this year with confidence in my workplace and confidence with myself and that's exactly what I plan to do. Here goes nothing. It may not make any difference, but it felt good to do. Josh just watched that, gave me a thumbs up, seal of approval, so I'm gonna send it into casting. Like I said, I don't know if it'll make any difference at all, but I feel good for doing it, and I think that's what this whole mantra is all about. Confidence in work. Yeah. So that's the work stuff and like the personal health and wellness stuff out of the way. But one of our big priorities this year is to have phone free family time. Yeah. This was a really important one for you. It's a massive one for me. I'm very guilty as are probably you watching this of when you pick up your phone, it just sort of sucks you in and it's like this mad little thing comes out and grabs your face and pulls you <laughs> into it. And before you know it, 25 minutes has gone past. Yeah. And I hate it. Mm -hmm. I really hate it. It's really important for us, especially for Shen who 
is a content creator to make sure that we are supporting other content creators and for me supporting other artists by clicking the links watching their content sharing their content that's really really important but there's a time and place and that there needs to be a cut off because life goes fast and these babies grow quick and we're getting older quick and we are all we sad, are. but we look young don't we <laughs> um, you'll understand what i'm saying the second you have babies like yeah. life just speeds up by 800 miles an hour it does um so it's really important that i'm not missing out on anything by looking at a phone when i don't need to be looking at a phone yeah so you said about trying to turn a phone off around five o'clock yes that's my like rule for myself now because i do work on my phone it's so easy for those lines to get blurred. And because we do all of the childcare ourselves, like it's just easy for the day to get away from you. And I will still be on my phone doing things at like 8 p.m., 8.30. And I just want to stop that in this new year. Obviously, there's going to be some exceptions where I have to take a meeting at 7 p.m. or something like that. But yeah, of course, for the but most part, I want to turn the phone Life off. Life happens, doesn't it? So Life happens. You can't feel bad either. No, I don't want to have guilt about but it. But it's just about like holding ourselves accountable and yes. we said we don't want to be on our phones less so let's be yeah. on our phones less yeah so my intention is to at five o'clock not turn my phone literally off but just to be like okay i'm calling it a work day and now it's done and i get to focus on family time we can go for a walk so we can cook a meal just enjoy so the kids because it does just consume you you know you know what i'm saying Josh said I'm wearing the ultimate mom coat. Don't know if I take offense to that or not. I just think it's because it's like the, the furry bit, the fake furry bit's got highlights. Like a mum. It's nice though. Mums do tend to have highlights, don't they? Kings is getting a bit fussy, so Josh has to walk like this. What do you think, Frank? Freedom is coming. <laughs> We just got home from our first phone-free family walk of the new year. Yeah. And guess what? We've been home for like 45 minutes, an hour, and I still haven't looked at my phone once. You know what? Nope. I mean, I don't love phones. I mean, we need them to work, but. They're good for like talking to people. You know? <laughs> I know, but they're not good they're for just... talking to each other. They're terrible for talking to each other. Exactly. And I've heard they're probably cooking my testicles as well. <laughs> I'm being serious, Shane. And on that Shane. note. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, I'm being beckoned to wipe a butt right now. So. so that one was really important for Josh. And one of the important things for me, just again, kind of maintaining the wellness of our family unit is having date nights away from the kids. While it's really important to have those present moments with the kiddos, it's also important to have present moments just with each other, which is something that we have certainly let fall to the wayside over the past three years because we have babies now and we haven't had childcare for a really long time. No. And I want to make that an absolute priority. I remember a friend telling me when I was pregnant with Bowie, like, make sure you schedule in date nights, like book it in the calendar. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like I'm with my husband 24 seven, like that's not a big deal. But life happens, like oh, you said. It's a huge deal. It gets crazy busy. Before and you know it, we hadn't been outside together on our own in like six months yeah, or a year. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's been crazy circumstances. Of as course. Well, so we've got to but, take that into account. But at this point, we've got. Whoa, that's a lot of sick. Oh, so we'll pause right there. Pause. And we're back. Oh. <laughs> that was Kingsley. <laughs> was it? <laughs> that time it was. Anyway, the point is I do want to schedule these date nights and I want to book the babysitter well in advance so that we just know that that is happening. It's literally yeah, it's on so the books. Important. And it's been a mad 
This has been a mad couple of years, isn't yeah. it? So everybody's down on their date nights, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, but I think now this is life. Mm -hmm. So we've got to get on with it, haven't we? And we've got to just, you know, make time for each other. And maybe if there's another lockdown, oh God, no, there's not going to be another lockdown. I'm not even putting don't, that out don't. there. <laughs> but I don't know, if the world does get a little more mad, maybe it's even just having a date within the house. And yeah. some, you know, I don't know, we'll see. But we've got to make sure that we're just making time for one another because without me and you, there would be no everybody else, would there? So no, <laughs> we're oh, going God. on a date. You just had cheese and onion crisps, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our romance is not dead. That's lucky you brought a mint then, isn't it? <laughs> okay, are we going in the car? Yeah. Or would you want to walk down an alley with me? Start. <laughs> we are going on a date. We are going ice skating. It is one of our last nights in London. And my mother-in-law and sister-in-law were kind enough to offer to babysit, so we took them up on it. And they only charged us a hundred pounds. <laughs> so we're gonna go ice skating, and then we're gonna go get food, and hopefully. Then we're gonna have some. Joking. We'll see what happens. We'll see where the night takes who us. Who wants to? Who wants to watch that? <laughs> we're gonna coming up on this week's vlog. See you there. been skating in so long I'm shitting myself but Josh is really excited oh my god why do we got here call First date night of 2022. First of many, I hope. Really got hit by a car. Yeah, it was brilliant, <laughs> wasn't it? It I really was. It. It's also the first time I've been outside in 2022. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Pretty much. Ah, oh, baby, love you. Love dating you. Always and forever, my love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. can win a date with me on next week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> just comment below <laughs> it did all start with us and i think that's so important because we're best friends and there's so many things we're we best friends we are BFF. don't you know you're our best friend too don't worry kings don't get jealous so those are some of our main priority intentions for this year resolutions we if you will resolutions if you will but i'm avoiding that term but it's been helpful to just kind of say it out loud and put it on the internet to help us manifest all of this to come true and hold oh, ourselves accountable. accountable yeah but what's your intention we want to know so comment below with your intentions for this year or if one of the things we just talked about has inspired you and something that you want to onboard yourself we would love to hear about it or well, maybe you haven't got one and you would like someone in the comments to inspire you to get one. Maybe. That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much, as always, for giving us this space. We hope you enjoyed our first slog. The Big Up the Slog Massive. <laughs> big Up Let's the go. Slog Massive. We will be back next Sunday with a regular vlog, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already. And it'll be our first vlog back in Franklin, Tennessee, because uh -huh. if you recognize this room, we're home. We're home. Sending you guys lots of love, big hugs from our family to yours for 2022. And thanks for recording this, Bowie. You did a great job. <laughs> 
Thank you again to Copilot for sponsoring this video. And remember, if you want to get 20% off forever and a 14 day free trial of Copilot, make sure you click the link in my video description below.